Hey guys. Alright, so I did this experiment yesterday. Um, I thought it came out pretty cool. This is the dry version. Um, so I'm going to do a video on it. And I actually used both uh, acrylic pouring techniques and alcohol inks. Uh, I did this as a clean pour. I'm going to do it today as a dirty pour and then with um, the alcohol inks and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to use this cup which I was using earlier. It has a little bit of the uh, color flash paint in it, the black flash. So we're going to use that. Um, and these are Artist Loft Flow Acrylics mixed with some Floetrol and water. Floetrol is a paint conditioner. And yeah. And then the color flash is um, Deco Art. And that's just what the paint is called. It's called Color Flash. So. We're going to go kind of minimalistic on the colors here. Right, I'm going to add a bit more white. I kind of want there to be some extra white in this painting. So that should be good. Get everything out of the way. And then we'll go ahead and flip it. Awesome. All right, we'll let this sit here for a minute, come back, and then we'll uh, take it off. All right, here we go. And this actually looks gorgeous, <laughs> I think, as it is. Um, but, like I said, we're doing, um, we're going to do an alcohol ink experiment. So hopefully, we don't mess this up. I really like these colors together, though. That came out well. Alright, um, so, these are um, Tim Holtz alcohol inks. Focus on that. There you go. Um, I'm going to be using this is stream, is what this color is called. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just drip. Now alcohol inks, because they're alcohol inks that you know they react to the paint a certain way, which is why you get that spreading effect. And then I'm going to use, uh, this is the alcohol blending solution, also Tim Holtz, generally buy them together. I'm going to use that to make these no longer so circle-ish. So far so good. Um, I also wanted to add a little bit of yellow. So this is Sunshine Yellow is the name of this color. And then I have Butterscotch. This is just a bit of a darker yellow. And then I'll go in with a little more blending solution. So this obviously, this, this painting looked great before all of this. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of show a different technique. 
And then you can still tilt it around a bit if you want. So like, let's say we want to go a bit this way. You know, you can do that as well. Cool. Yeah. So anyways, like I said, just wanted to kind of show you a new technique. Um, I It definitely works better when you're going with more abstract, like this one. I love how this, I love how it came out. Um, and it, it works well with the clean pour too. You can have a little more um, control over it. So as usual, let's let this sit here for a bit and do anything else that it might be doing. And then we'll go ahead and go in for the close-up. Okay, I changed my mind. I wanted to try one more thing. I don't know if it'll work or not, but um, so obviously I did the drips there. I want to kind of see if I can do a little bit more of a line. Well, it's still pretty drippy. <laughs> and there's a big line. Oh, I just had another idea. Okay, I'm going to experiment. <laughs> One more thing. I want to see what happens if I now put paint on top of this. Remember guys, this is an experiment, so don't freak out. You know. It's fun to play around with different materials and find out how they will work together. If you don't try it, you're never going to know. It might be like the coolest thing you've ever done. It might not. You know. Like I don't think I like this, how it worked with this painting as well as the other one. I definitely think it worked better with the clean pour. Also, I think I liked this painting a lot before I put the alcohol inks in it. <laughs> and I kind of messed it up a little bit with the alcohol inks. But once again, it's an experiment. And it's still pretty awesome. Pretty nifty. Yeah, I mean, just thinking in terms of using alcohol with this. Uh, there's also something interesting I found out with the other one. Um, this is a mixative. Uh, focus on that real quick. There you go. It's gold. Um, when I was experimenting yesterday, I was thinking, I wasn't sure how it was going to react. I'm just going to show you. It, it actually like sits on top of the paint. So you can use this if it comes out um, to accent things. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put some through here. Yeah, and it will go into the paint a little bit, but it really sits on top. And you can tell when it dries, it has a completely different, like it's almost like putting, it's almost like nail polish is what it makes me think of actually. Like putting nail polish on top of it, it will just kind of sit on top. Anyway, so I thought that was interesting. I thought I would share that with you. Yeah, I still like it. It's, uh, I did, I will be completely honest, I liked the original pour <laughs> when I first just did the dirty pour um, versus putting all the alcohol inks on it, but I still like it. It's still pretty quirky. And once again, we'll let it sit for a little bit and then come in for the close-up. All right, we're going in for the close-up here. So, there you go. That's You can see how the alcohol inks worked. I hope you can tell that gold is literally like just kind of sitting on top. Almost like if you were to put nail polish on it. There's this interesting part over here and then of course you have the the regular pour here which was interesting as well 
Let's go for a little more of a side view there. There you go. And overall picture. So I hope you enjoyed this. I don't need to know if you hate the painting. If you don't like it, that's okay. You can obviously tell me if you love it. <laughs> um, the whole point of this video was to show you how the different materials can react together. Just so you can know in the future if you would like to experiment with that or not. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.